I don't know what Cole's playing. Cole's cloud. playing Cloud. Okay, we're fine. Yep. All right, we're hopping right into Grand Finals. Here's our little L switch. Or do I got to type it in? Fine, I'll type it in. I'm getting rid of this stupid tag. Handsome. Okay. Fox can hit Cloud pretty hard, and Cloud can hit Fox pretty hard. So I'm interested to see how this match is gonna play out. Yeah, that is that's that's the matchup. That's the matchup in one second right there. However, Mithra can kind of run circles around Cloud with frame data, with speed, with all sorts of stuff. Amax got to be there for those assists, getting uh, Cloud out of jail as much as possible. And uh, as long as Cloud keeps edge guarding Fox, this is to definitely the yellow team uh, looking in the winner's position. I say this from the uh, from the lens that uh, I mean, blue team has not lost a set in a very long time. So very likely we're going to see some pretty great strategy coming up from the blue team. Good, uh, good punish there from Cole. He's gonna make it to stay fine. Runs up, up smash, gets uh, a shield up in time, Cole. And that backer gonna catch Beezy. Good stuff, he's on his last stock now, and they're having that. Yeah. These guys are hot from losers. They played a lot of sets already. They are in the zone. They're in the zone, yeah. They, they lost to the yellow team that we saw earlier, and then uh, played Corvo Gamers Act, and played. Nova and Gary Scary, and then played Yellow Team again. Now they're here. They're hot. They played a lot of sets. Okay, that's the stock off of each of them. This game is actually looking way more even. Blues kind of turn on the Jets here. They can't get edge guarded. They can't, you know, run into the stupid stuff. They're putting their attention on Mithra now. Mithra off stage and VZ off stage. Yeah, and that down air gonna catch him perfectly. Wow. Great spacing. Takes the stock and a share. It. I respect this for sure. Because you can't really go low as Fox because you'll get downered on the corner. If you go high, there's all sorts of ways that uh, Scubs can just be there ready. Yeah. Ooh, great parry, parry, great parry. Wow. A lot of people parry hit four or hit three by accident and then just get hit by the fifth one. Yeah. Or just shield the fifth one and don't get the optimal punish. He's just trying to make some something happen here with his speed, but AMAC is moving just as fast. It's a 2v1 now with four stocks to one. He can turn it around. He can turn it around. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Nair coming out, put, putting some space between him and uh, Scubs. Stand on the right side of AMAC here. If you're in the middle, that's when you're in a bad spot. <laughs> Trying to recover to the ledge, doesn't quite get it. <laughs> Pink looks over at him and goes, oh. Oh, good try. But he hits AMAC, so not too bad of a position. Reads the roll away. And the down tilt doesn't get too much off of it. Double jumps to try and get out of disadvantage. That uh, side view was the right option there. Good dash <laughs> back into. Uh, up smash the teammate that doesn't think they're getting attacked right now. Three stocks to one here. BZ at 115%. Gets that little fairy. Probably going to, oh yeah, opt, opt to recover high. And this could be it right here, that down air. Yeah, that's that's just kind of how it goes. Yeah. Game one goes to Team Sriracha. Team Sriracha. Sriracha. I would expect a switch probably from BZ. He might be sticking to his gun, but he could definitely switch characters and, and put himself in a much more favorable position. We'll see what happens. You were right. I was a little right. Yeah. It's just uh, Cloud against Fox can be like so daunting, so hard. Because Fox kind of has these stubby hitboxes that Cloud combats with back air, and then Cloud edge guards Fox really well, which is not something Cloud typically does. So give Cloud the resource to edge guard a character a, like quite well and quite consistently. You're looking at a very difficult <laughs> matchup. Okay, this could be an edge guard. No, not quite. Goes for an early counter. Looks like singles are getting started pretty soon.
That's a stacked pool. Yeah. Great, great catch there from uh, Pink Mama 91. Oh, me too. They said my name twice. Uh, blue team definitely a little bit of lead here. Uh, BZ able to kind of outmaneuver with Lucina and edge guard pretty effectively. BZ off stage now at 158. Yeah, I gotta get down it on the high recovery. Trying to just kind of clip him there and send him away. Cole Scubs at a Cole Scubs cloud at 157 here. I'm just kind of spamming his safe options to try and not die and just do a little pick, pick damage. It's actually going to be his teammates' barrels that blow him up. Uh, stocks are quite even right now, but AMAC is at 102%. So, oh wow, that actually shield broke. That was barrel shield broke Cole that time. He was scared because he died last time. He's at a high percent too. Looks like they're going to focus on Cole here. That F smash. Hits like a truck, and then up tilt is gonna kill you. Yes, yeah, I, I told you we see more pyro up tilt. This uh, <laughs> gonna have to offer the share stock here. Both stocks are. This is a, like extremely even, but yeah. whoever takes that first big one is gonna be in the in the hot seat. This is a uh, two v one. Oh, good to try and not trade there, but it actually gave Amac a little time to get back because Cole did eventually get punished. That's for the side, or neutral B doesn't get too hard punished, but now he's getting up B just the first hit. F smash could have paid off big there. I mean, yeah, Pink's been doing good at trying to get to Cole, but Cole's not really running away either. You need to kill Cole first if you want to try and win this. And still, it's quite hard. <laughs> Good parry. Eats a back air there. Pretty off stage. Still pretty off stage. And the barrel's gonna take him. That's two. Two for Team Sriracha. They're Pools going are, in hot. Yeah, they're going in hot. Hot sauce. Macadag. Is, is our boy. Is our Diddy Kong boy. Yeah. Looks like we're probably opting for the same stuff here. Yeah, same character, same matchup. Hopefully a different outcome for the blue team. That's what they're, they're hoping for. The yellow team definitely playing pretty hot though. Yeah, it looks like maybe they're trying to take a bit more 1v1s. Let's see how it plays out here. If if yeah, Team Sriracha wins the set, they play again. It's a reset. Blue's got the whole stage here, good ledge trap situation, but Cole actually jumps up and back airs uh, easy. That's huge. And gonna eat a huge fiery pyro sword there. Keeping everything as even as possible. If Dylan is able to get these earlier kills with the pyro, all of a sudden this game starts to kind of skew in the favor of uh, the blue team. The thing is, I mean, BZ is kind of playing this role of AMAC being quick and like making little openings while Cole and Dylan play the role of getting these kills, hopefully like sub 90. 
but not always. I mean, a lot of people live past that because you have these big evasive characters. Um, and at the same time, BC's been opting to edge guard a lot, which is what Cole did with Lucina last set. So you kind of are spreading the blue team's utility kind of thin here. But uh, as long as they're able to kind of be competent enough in a 1v1, which is hard against like all four really good players, uh, they, they should be able to do well. They are up a stock here. As long as BC can just hold on to this for a second. Yeah, and Blue Team making some big openings here. Cole coming down with a big down air. Trying to get a punish on that up, he doesn't quite get it. Parry and the cross slash is going to take BZ stock. It's more even now. Brother! Is that Pink Mama 91? It's me. How? I can't believe Spiky Mike made it. To I know, that's what friends. I said. This is like, what is this, the ninth time? Yeah? I, I feel like I see you here all the time. I, I was wondering how depressed you must be wearing such neutral drab colors. Yeah. It's, it's a uh, little sad. It's a little weird. I, mean, I, can, I can feel the energy from you. But uh, yeah, that's going to be another stock off Pink Bomber 91 here. Yellow team just showing us <laughs> dominance. Holy. How about the 3-0 them from losers? Yellow team just showing a lot of dominance here. Probably going to need some sort of strategy check here. Moving into set number two if they do take this. Never, never uh, count out the Pink Bomber 91 clutch. The spiky mic factor, some might call it. Yeah. But that fair is, is going to... Pink would lose this, but Spiky might lose. Yeah. See the... Yeah. <laughs> this is... I hate this. Alright. Oh, oh, shit! He's got it. He's got it. And then... Uh, yeah, there you go. That'll be 3-0 for um, Team Sriracha going into game uh, set two. Yep. Time for the reset, right? Do you like the, do you like the streaming? <laughs> That's all we know. About Spiky Mike is that he's got the 91 tag on the Switch, which is kind of weird. It's pretty weird. He should be rocking beans. Probably beans. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh. Okay. Wait. Click those three dots there. Which ones? These are three lines. Oh. Yeah. Oh no wait. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 There we go. Stream uh, quality, stream production brought to you by the, the wonderful Smash Cartoon team. Gotta love it. Yeah, we got a fresh start here for Blue Team. Hopefully trying to turn things around and sure enough, yeah, we're gonna see the Rob from BZ. Something you just kinda occasionally see against this cloud. It's something that Cole is kinda traditionally bad at fighting against. Right? And not like, yeah, Cloud definitely does struggle with Rob, but I don't think Diddy Kong does really. Good. I think it's pretty even, honestly. And we've seen such a like a Diddy Kong boom in the meta recently since Tweak One Summit with um, with Diddy Kong. Did you see the guy? Oh, I'm so quirky. He's right here. Yeah. If you want to go play that, actually, I okay. Can, I can take over. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Just come over here and grab her when you need her. Mithra off stage now, gonna just kind of recover into his teammate to stay as safe as possible. Rolls into the banana. Kind of the smartest play because he didn't get punished. Amac trying to take the stage as his own, and sure enough, he's got it. Cole gonna blade beam his teammate in. He's gonna eat that dash attack on the on the opening. That's the thing when you're spread so thin is whoever's faster can kind of just get there. And now, Beasley playing the slowest character on the court is gonna change things. You're gonna probably see Dylan play a lot more Mithra now that Carter is gonna be the one that's kind of opting for kills more, which might work out, like his Mithra is so, so good, so gets back on that, those down airs there, that side B gonna kill Cole, and uh, stocks are almost even, AMAC Diddy Kong is at 153%, so. oh, that down air gonna be a quick stock against BZ, that was important, if you're an AMAC fan, and that, ayo, ayo, sorry, that's okay, yeah, kind of resources spread in here, trying to help out Pink Bomber 91 a little bit busy, but ends up eating two up airs, half a cross slash, a grab, forward throw. 
pink throw sword, busy, but he was kind of on the ground, so not something you could do. Yeah, there you go. Amac hitting him out of the final hit of uh, Rob up air there. That's a, that's a teammate right there. A brother, if you will. Trying to make an opening here against Cole with Limit. That F smash probably going to make him expend Limit. No, he can air dodge. Oh, he actually ran out and just upbeat. Okay. Well, Bye-bye. Morgan's going to leave us now. Thanks for joining us. I thought you were working on microphone. No, this is a this is a golf club. <laughs> Great downer from uh, Cole there. Gonna make it a stretch two v two here. Yellow team is up two whole stocks. Great up here there. Blade beam gonna put Pyra all the way across the stage there, and side bees without enough time to air dodge the stage gonna put. BZ Robin a 1v1. This 1v1 can be treacherous for both teams, but Rob can get comboed forever. That Nair might lead into a limit move, not quite. Wish the grab gets back thrown. Gonna put a lot of options against Cole. Makes an expend limit actually. Great use of the gyro there. Tries to catch a jump on a shield, doesn't quite get it, and the dash deck's gonna lead into the back air. Game one will go to Sriracha. You don't have to talk. I'm joined by the stoic, experienced, stern, LB Suxy. And one of my favorite people in the whole world, Kalen Overcast. How you doing, Kalen Overcast? I'm doing good. How are you guys? I'm amazing now that you're here. I was actually, we actually had a little conversation in you, uh, about you in the car today. Uh, we're talking about how awesome your fleets used to be back when fleets were still <laughs> I, I loved your fleets. I just made breakfast. Had a little game of Super Smash Brothers. You know, just, you know, the everyday things that, that, that made our day bright. I love it. I love it. Hopping into game two here, we got Town and City. Definitely gonna benefit Pyro Mithra and just kind of like those chains, that extremely volatile um, set knockback on, um, or uh, base knockback on Mithra up air. You saw that happen to, uh, what's his name? Zachary against, with uh, MKLeo, like up aired him three times on Yoshi's and he just died at like 30. <laughs> Um, there's this Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore? Yeah. yeah. No, this is Catboy Happy Gilmore. And this is... See what? Yeah. See what? See what? This is how he dresses when he's on the road. On the, on the sidewalk. I love it. Yeah. We're Team Adam Sandler. We got seventh today in doubles. <laughs> Gonna try and go for that aggressive option from ledge there because he just gets down there by Cobb, unfortunately. <laughs> F throw on that flag, gonna put him in a bad position, just not get down there though, unfortunately. F tilt. Up smash out of shield, hits AMAC. Stocks are even, but Pyra's so high, yeah, gonna eat that. Blue team just not really uh, stealing a whole lot of early kills, and that's what's been kind of the defining factor up to this point. Good uh, conversion there on the blue team, but it doesn't quite kill uh, Cole, unfortunately. He's at 130 now. F throw up smash does not quite pan out. Goes for a little unga, no bunga. That's fine. Gets interrupted by uh, his teammate Saibi there. Just really got to close out these stocks here. 130 on 151. Holy man. Macaroni. Spot dodge down smash is going to be the deciding factor on the left side. Didn't quite see what happened on the right side. That just happened at the exact same time. It happens. We have to see what I'm saying. Kayla knows what I'm saying. Busy on top town plat here in the V formation. It's a bit of a scrap here that up B is usually going to prevail if you're playing Cloud. Uh, upwards cross slash, and there's Dylan to get his teammate out of trouble. Good stuff. Goes for Nair up B, or Nair side B doesn't quite get it, unfortunately. Great edge guard doesn't quite get it. He gets the limit up B and almost died, actually. But uh, Socks are in favor of the blue team right now. Uh, BZ is going to be one who wants it. Chris, how you doing, brother? It's been a while. It's been a while. Glad to have you here. Uh, this uh, yellow team, Team Sriracha, lost to Aiden and AWOL in winner's semis and have won four games in losers, and now the first set of grands. They're up a game. Ooh. They're playing hot. It was 3-0. And uh, now we, we saw BZ's Fox, we saw BZ's Lucina, and now BZ is on Rob. 
He's got the lineup though. Yeah. With the Rob, is, Rob is kind of like a hard, his hard counter to Cloud. Yeah. And and sense. now this is the first game we're kind of seeing it work. Like he's getting a little bit earlier kills. He's living to 130. But then again, like Amac always lives to 130 regardless of what character he's playing. So, True. Oh, that F Smash is going to do some work and put Cole off stage here. This is the last stock. First 2v1 situation we've seen for uh, the blue team. Yeah, uh, up till gonna be a good work. trade. Oh, good fair. Really good spacing around the cross slash. Doesn't get the neutral B though. Doesn't need a backer. He needs help though. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Big good stop. There. Just take out the squadron. Yeah, he just kind of stood yeah. there after the first one. I was, he sent it up. Good stuff to be there. Really kind of came through and we didn't see enough of it in the first set, but now we do. And AMAC was actually. He was stock tanking. He was stock. He was support. Oh, and that's what he's been doing. But he's also just been like getting crazy kills. He had this okay. game where he was just off, like, off stage the whole game, uh, just putting in work. We haven't seen Cole Zucina at all, which is something I might expect to see, especially yeah. against Rob, because I feel like the counter pick yeah. train goes. It's like it's Cloud, Cloud uh, Lucina for like BZ Lucina, and then uh, Cole's Cloud, and then he counter uh, BZ counter picks to Rob. And then Cole kind of picks the Lucina. And then Carter kind of picks back to Lucina. <laughs> or something like that. Last time they had a Lucina Ditto in bracket, Carter won it. So. But also, Carter doesn't play this game anymore because he lost to Davis. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. So did I. <laughs> so did everyone. He's hungry. He's everyone on the come up. It. He's on the come up. He's on the PR. We got game three. Yep. I'm suing eight around the board now. All around the board. All around the board. Change the name. Let's go. Cross slash open. Cross slash to open it up. Oh, jeez, a quick three-piece combo by Yellow Team, just kind of sending Pink Bombo up to the skies, but up to seems this to be guy. neutralized back to. Mm -hmm. Just trading hits left and right. Yeah, another thing I was talking about while um, Morgan was still here, when um, when BZ was playing Fox and Lucina, that's kind of the character that opens up things and like creates that first sixty percent for uh, Pyra to take over and do then do fifty yeah. percent. Now that uh, now that um, he's on Rob, that's kind of BZ's role now, and you see a lot of the Mithra coming out. Maybe not at this exact moment, but usually. I think Bumble's on the myth though. Uh, just because he now he's like kind of gate crashing a little bit more, and uh, Beezy's trying to finish that stuff off while also living to like 120%, which like literally everyone is at right now. Gets that downer weak hit. Yeah. Tries to go for the edge guard, doesn't quite get it. AMAC too fast. F Ooh. smash on the jump. Great okay. call out by BZ. Gets cross slash though, and it kills wow, the Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, and it was really good DI to too. Like he was right up in that top yeah, corner when it killed. Yeah, Scubs have been coming with pace this game. Took the early pink bombo stock. Took mm -hmm. the no, took the easy mm. stock right yeah, there. Yeah, no, stocks are stocks are even right now. But that Mithra's got to put in some work, and the best uh, defense is a good good combo ladder with Mithra. Oh, jumps right into that up smash. That's not what you want to see if you're a pink bombo fan or a spiky yeah. mike fan. Because we're actually a spiky mike fan. It's a spiky mike fan. It's crazy. We don't see spiky mike in ultimate winners uh, doubles yeah. nearly enough. It was strange because I was teaming with King Bombo earlier today, and mm -hmm. we went 0-2. No. I was uh, a little shocked to see. No, that's not cool. You hate to see the grades fall you off You hate like to that. see the grades fall like that. Oh, Yellow Team just doing their own thing at each side of the stage. Yeah. They'll come to support now, though. I think that is going to kind of favor in the blue team as of right now. Just kind of having a more balanced spread of the kind of PR players, but when Cole and Amac work in a kind of cohesive fashion, they're very, very yeah. hard to deal with. And that trade is going to be really favorable for the blue team there. Uh, they are going to want to take this Amac stock as quick as possible, though, because Cole is not, in, not going to lose his stock anytime soon. And they got to make it so that there's no share stocks. Oh, oh Cole great deep, deep edge that. guard. And, yeah, oh, he tries to finish it on his there. own. Now, this is, a, this is a very doable 2v1. Uh, if as long as the oh yeah. no, because oh. because the, there's all sorts of edge guard potential uh, for Cloud, but you just gotta deal with the Diddy Kong stock quick. Then up smash doesn't quite connect. He's oh, off stage, goes, goes for a down air, yeah. and now he's, he's gonna going get down tilted too. and the yeah the air dodge read. That's really good for from Cole. The down tilts, the boxing. <laughs> Rob is a boxer and a zoner and an edge guarder oh, and a heavy. They practiced that. I was incredible. They're in the lab for hours for that. Hours. These guys are sweats apparently. 
Yeah, they, they looked like they were in it for the fun at the beginning, but now you, you <laughs> no, realize they're, they're just sweats. They're here to win. They're just sweats. They have one goal. Main goal is to blow up. And act like you don't know nobody. Ar, 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 ar. Mr. Krabs laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think I'm going to retire the cat ears for a little while. They're starting to itch my head. i got to say hi to Chris, though. Oh, my hair looks fucking terrible. <laughs> what the hell? We're happy to see you regardless. Look at chat. Um, I got a stoom up. I saw. Your stoom is insane. Ch chat has been not bumping, unfortunately. They're, they're not here to see the dubs, but yeah. we are. And this has been a great set so far. Um, Yellow team has won five games. Not in a row, but five games in the, of the last six. Uh, and what, what set is this? The, we're here for a little while longer. Uh, are you just waiting on me? Because I can come if you're waiting. There was. It's 2-1 now after the reset. 2-1? Yeah, it's game, it's game four. And we're on the wrong cam. Sorry. There we go. In a game four... Yeah. Potentially last game of the set, last yeah. game of the bracket. I'm not really sure what Pink Bombo did. I got two grabs on Cold Air and didn't throw him off stage either time. Back in my day, and I say this, <laughs> I say this, we threw caught off stage. But these guys are PR players. I'm not. I'm just a commentator. And now we see the BZ Wolf. Whoa! Which is, I like Big, this. deep I like back air by Cold. We send Pink Bombo way off stage again. Take because the if there's a textbook on how to play Cloud Wolf, BZ has read it. <laughs> Maybe he even wrote something. He's definitely a contributing author. He's a contributing author to the to the Wolf meta, and he's been around for a while. Especially around this scene, <laughs> where there is just an influx of wolves. Not that there isn't literally everywhere, but... Oh, yeah. Kind of comes tries to come in and just, like, get the little tippet claws of the fair there, but just gets up smash first. That happens, and it's, it's a hard spacing thing, because it's an arc that comes down. Whoa. Good play. <laughs> Holy moly. Managing to... Find him in the middle of the big glowing blade. Yeah. And take him a stock. Good stuff. Going for big nooch off stage. A big nooch uh, he makes... He's the only one who edge guards. Uh, yeah. He's the only one. Tries to get that edge guard on Cole with a huge back. It doesn't quite get it. He's at 153 weak narrow edge guard. And there you go. There's that stock. Oh, unfortunately, oh, he back airs his teammate. Oh, oh he gets saved. Getting, but now he's not saved. Oh, but now he gets saved again. again. Is this the guy the most? Is this the greatest teammate of all time? He's keeping him there. Say, stay off stage. You're better over there. I, I'm in disbelief. And now he's hitting him again. <laughs> this is rage. How is he? How oh, goes for that deep edge guard. Oh, and he's oh no flash. My God. He, okay. You'll take trade the trade. You'll take the trade. It's not a great yeah, trade, was, but it's a trade. That, that was an old stock. So like, yeah. If you take one with you with that. Yeah. We take those. Share stock off the table for the blue team now, but they're both at low percent. They're gonna have to. Both play pretty well to keep uh, winning and contention here. This is their oh, they got monkey in the corner. This is their tournament game here. Oh, great catch! Oh, keeping him off stage. But he gets on. He gets on the ledge. Oh, my God. oh wow! Great spot dodge down smash from BZ there. Oh. Trying to make something happen against Cole. Gets both of these. Now he's in tech situation on the platform. Amac gonna get that down tilt grab. He's gonna flash the stage. Oh, up the stage. Another both on top plat. Wants to shark. They're, they got Cole in the sandwich oh, yeah. here, but he gets out. Down tilt. Down tilt from Amac. Runs back and monkey flips. Really great. Calls out the up. Now it it's, off. it's not quite a one v one, but this is this is BZ Wolf. He's uh, uh, comf deep. comfortable as an understatement here. Okay. Nice forward throw. Gonna hit both of them, but that up smash is just gonna up hit smash. Uh, yeah, for sure. And that'll be 3-1 for Team Sriracha. 3-1 for Team Sriracha. A long loser's run that ended up uh, 